What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. Enhancement cores have become one of the most essential crafting materials in Destiny 2, a necessary material for upgrading armor and weapons, and now in Season of the Seraph, they're even used to purchase upgrade modules from Banshee. So today we'll be breaking down all the ways that you can farm for enhancement cores in Destiny 2 throughout 2023. Before we get started, if you do end up enjoying today's video and finding it helpful, then please be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. With that being said, let's get started. After the release of Beyond Light, Bungie made substantial adjustments to how enhancement cores are earned, and as it stands right now, there are a total of nine different ways that you can obtain enhancement cores. So let's break down each of these methods, with the first being bounties. Each day at Daily Reset, Banshee offers four different weapon bounties, which only require getting kills with specific weapons. By completing one of these bounties, you will be rewarded with one enhancement core each, giving you a total of 12 enhancement cores that can be earned each day by completing these bounties on each of your three characters. Reputation ranks are another source for enhancement cores. While it won't make for the most efficient method to obtain them, Lord Shax, Zavala, Saint-14, Drifter, Finch, Zur, and Vendors Through the Helm all provide enhancement cores, which are rewarded when reaching certain ranks with that respective vendor. Enhancement cores can also be found through the free and paid versions of each season's season pass, with 5 enhancement cores being available under the free version and 25 being available available through the paid version. Enhancement cores are also offered as a reward through certain activities, including legendary and master loss sectors, nightfalls, and higher difficulty empire hunts. Since hero nightfalls have matchmaking, this will make for one of the most efficient means at farming for enhancement cores. But when the daily loss sectors shift to the Cosmodrome, EDZ, and Europa, which offer some of the easiest and fastest loss sectors in the game, you'll have much better odds at farming loss sectors. Once masterworking any ghost, you will have a unique and passive way to easily farm for enhancement cores. By equipping the Lesser Harvest mod, you can earn enhancement cores through Vanguard, Nightfall, Gambit, and Crucible playlists. The Greater Harvest mod is also available for any masterworked ghost, which will reward enhancement prisms instead of cores. Earning clan XP is the next method to obtaining cores that we'll talk about. By being part of a level 4 clan, you are able to earn up to 21 enhancement cores each and every week. Available on each of your characters each week is a weekly clan challenge through Hawthorne, requiring you to earn 5,000 total clan XP, which can be easily accomplished just by completing completing activities. Once reaching 5,000 clan XP, simply return to Hawthorne, claim your powerful Ingram, along with 7 enhancement cores per character. The next method to obtaining cores will be through consuming Finest Matter Weaves. Finest Matter Weaves can be obtained by dismantling legendary and exotic gear. After activating a Finest Matter Weave, you have a chance at spawning an enhancement core when defeating a major or a boss. While these are great to use while in any PvE activity, the best way to farm enhancement cores with finest matter weaves will be heading to the moon and locating a hive ruined chest. Shoot the wrong symbol and a hive knight will appear. Defeat the knight for a chance at an enhancement core. After the knight has been defeated, you can rinse and repeat the process over as much as you'd like, but keep in mind you'll need to pop a new finest matter weave each time a core does drop from the night. Each week, Master Raul offers a limited number of enhancement cores through the exchange of 30 legendary shards for each core. But since supplies are limited and require you to have a decent amount of legendary shards on hand, this does not make for a very efficient means of acquiring cores. The last method to obtain enhancement cores will be to head to your vault and dismantle gear that you no longer need or want. Tier 4 or higher weapons will drop at least one enhancement core when being dismantled, with up to 7 cores for fully masterworked weapons. Dismantling upgraded ghost shells can provide up to 4 enhancement cores. Dismantling legendary and exotic armor, however, will provide enhancement prisms, which you can convert into enhancement cores if you happen to find yourself with more than enough prisms and not enough cores. 
By leveling any blue armor up to level 8 and then dismantling it, you'll receive 8 enhancement cores in exchange. And with that, we've covered all 9 methods to obtain enhancement cores in Destiny 2 throughout 2023. Once Lightfall releases later this year, we may have additional methods to obtain enhancement cores, which if that is the case, you can be sure to find details here on the channel, so be sure to stay tuned. Thank you as always for checking out today's video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then please be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. If you're a new light guardian just starting your journey or a battle hardened veteran just looking for a new home, then be sure to check out the discord link in the description below and join one of the greatest communities in all of destiny. And until next time guardians, this has been Profane wishing you all some happy hunting.